Hello guys, Archangel here, bringing you Rome to War Online Battle number 14, I think it is, or 13, one or the other. And today I'm playing as Carthage against my opponent, SRI, playing as the Seleucid Empire. We'll have a look at my army first. I've got five units of Balaric Slingers, which are just gold attack. I have four units of Sacred Band, gold gold, two units of Libyan Spearmen, gold gold, and four units of Sacred Band Cavalry, gold gold. My opponent uh, has five units of Archers, they are gold gold. Four units of cataphracts, gold gold, and five units of silver shield pikemen, gold gold. So he definitely has the cavalry advantage here because of his uh, cataphracts. But I do have these spearmen because I expected him to bring uh, at least four cataphracts. So I brought these Libyan spearmen along to hold them off while my infantry uh, faced their infantry, which I believe my infantry could win, although they are outnumbered at the moment. Gonna rush these this unit of cavalry here over to their archers since um, I see that my Balarak slingers aren't doing too well because their archers have uh, defensive upgrades unlike my Balarak slingers. And I'm gonna move them back quickly or slowly and now quickly in before they can take any archer fire here and don't want to be losing my cavalry especially uh, seeing as they've got cataphracts. And I do lose a horse, as we can see somewhere. Or oh, maybe I didn't lose a horse. Yeah, I lost a few horses, look. My spearmen might have even killed a few, I'm not sure. And their cataphracts are now swinging around the sides, and their silver shield partner are reforming. And the archer fight is pretty even at the moment. Or the missile fight, should I say, because I'm using slingers. My two slingers on the wings are doing well, but my, the guys in the middle are taking a lot of casualties here, whereas their army is taking sustained casualties throughout. They're probably average, averaging out about 40 troops, my guys probably averaging out about 45, 50. And as you can see, he's got uh, most of his guys facing over to this, this unit and this unit here. And they're not bothering about attacking these two units. And I've got, well, I've got each one of my units on uh, a different unit of archers, so I'm taking them down slowly but surely. In all of them, they're trying to take me down one by one. And they have lost a lot of people here, and the archer fight for them is being lost right now. The cataphracts are doing uh, nothing at all at the moment, just facing backwards, and I'm happy to wait and sit it out, wait for my uh, slingers to win the battle so I can start bombarding the spearmen here. And um, as we can see, their archers are really low numbers now, they're starting to lose a few units, this guy's going to be destroyed soon. They can't, they don't route for some reason, archer versus archer fight, missile versus missile even. They just uh, go down to one man and then die. As we can see, this this guy's the last guy in his unit. He's putting up, still putting up a fight. He don't care. And he's going to get lots of rocks pelted at him there, and that's him dead. And this unit is also down to four people, so these will not be lasting long right here. And I brought the unit that was attacking that unit over to attack this unit as well, so they're going to be taking a uh, fire from twice as much people here. And we are hitting a lot of people in this unit as well with a firing over the top, which is very good. And that's that unit gone, and only three units remain with this unit on 10, this on 19, and this on 15. So this is the one with the most population at the moment, but I've got three muslingers facing it, so I believe these do go down first eventually. As you can see, they're dropping like flies pretty quickly there. 9, 9 and 13, now the units of this guy's on 8, actually 7. And their cataphracts are still doing nothing. They sh probably should be moving their infantry up right now, because they don't want me uh, just bothering them with their archers the whole game here. And this unit is now down to 4, and this unit's down to 8, and this unit's down to 10, so it's not looking good for them. They've definitely lost the archer fight. I've still got, still averaging it about 40 people who on each unit and there goes another one of their units and only two remain now. I've got four of my slingers all facing this unit here so these are going to uh, drop they're going to drop rapidly here. I suppose the thing I could have done was taken the slingers on this wing over to attack the cataphracts since they're, um, they've got their backs turned. It could have done some damage even if I only got one, uh, one volley of rocks off. And this unit is now down to two. They're going to go meet each other and die together here. 
and <laughs> that's a lot of rocks right there and this unit is down to four and that'll be it for his archers as we can see the final volley here it comes and they're all down so now he's going to move, finally he's going to move his infantry up here and he has lost a few people from rocks over the top by the looks of things yeah there's a couple of dead people scattered around and I'm going to get move my infantry up and my slingers are going to start firing at these silver shield pikemen right now and take quite a few of them out and I'm moving my cavalry to each of my sides because the cataphracts are now moving up he's got his spearmen in run he doesn't want to get hit by the slingers here but he is eventually going to get hit by some and he does outnumber my spearmen 5 to 4 and there's uh, more units in each I have 81 and 82 in my general here so I think it's 100 and I think it's 115, 116, a general or something like that. Uh, he's got 180 in this general unit, so maybe not. And I'm going to charge my Libyan spearman here right into the cataphracts. <coughs> and he's not going to move his cataphracts in time, uh, but he does get his silver shield pikemen close. And these spearmen are going to take these cataphracts on one on one. I'm going to be able to flank this unit here with my sacred bank cavalry, who are going to put up a fight against these cataphracts, they can do a decent damage, very nice charge on them, but they're no match one on one against them. And as you can see the spearman fight, it's, nothing's really happening yet, yeah, my guys are getting hit more because of his uh, longer spears, and here comes his cataphracts on this wing. As you can see I have lost my Libyan spearman over there, but he has lost one of his cataphracts, and my spearmen are going to catch these cataphracts in their charge here, and so are these sacred band cavalry here going to catch these guys. And my other unit, Sacred Band Cavalry, is helping out my Libyan, Libyan spearmen on these guys. But I'm gonna eventually move my spearmen over to attack these because my Sacred Band Cavalry are getting slaughtered here right now. And my cavalry over here are uh, getting out now because they have lost the battle against these two, well, one unit cataphract. But that's a bad, bad, very bad charge there by his cataphracts. He's hurt his own units more than mine really. He's got his cataphracts stuck in between the two spears and he's charged without a phalanx here which was a very bad idea and that's one of his spearmen down and I get a nice charge into the back heel, my sacred band uh, and his cataphracts did eventually route on uh, quite a lot of units actually, an unexpected route I must say and I'm going to get a nice good charge off on these guys as well and that's two units down and these guys three units down and this I think is where he surrenders, yeah players admit defeat so a good game to my opponent Ezerai and I will get the scoreboard up in a second. Here's the scoreboard, as you can see he deployed a few more because he has more units in his spearmen than I do. I killed a lot more, he killed he killed not even half of my army, barely a third. But good game to him anyway and I'll see you soon.